The search for missing Texas mom and realtor Suzanne Simpson is entering week number three. Her husband's business partner is now facing some charges connection connected rather to Suzanne's disappearance. Her husband Brad and his business partner James Cotter, both now charged with tampering with evidence. Investigators believe that Cotter helped Brad Simpson hide a weapon possibly tied to the case. Brad previously charged with family violence and unlawful restraint of Suzanne. A day later, federal charge filed against him uh, for possessing an unlawful firearm. So he's got both state and federal charges pending. A multiple day long search of a local landfill ended last week. Authorities came up empty handed of any evidence connected to Suzanne's disappearance. So we're asking this morning do you believe investigators may already have the murder weapon? Let's bring back in Dave and Noah. Uh, Dave, to you first here, please. Your thoughts? It's possible, uh, but now we have someone else who can rat on the bigger fish, and hopefully this will help the case. I think it's good they've got uh, Cotter back in custody. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I do think that's a break in the case. There's no body found yet, but uh, you know the evidence is so damning against uh, the husband, the circumstantial. I mean, that you even have the feds who have come in on this weapons charge, and when the feds are after you, you know you're in trouble. So I think this is headed towards a resolution pretty quickly now that the feds are involved, now that this alleged co-conspirator is involved. Good news for the prosecution. Right, Dave, thank you. Noah, your thoughts on this? Yeah, Dave's right. When you get the feds helping you to, to lodge a charge, especially a gun charge, you know that they are putting pressure on to, to make something crack. And now you've got two pressure points. You have these federal charges, and now you've got your business partner who obviously wants to stay out of being indicted for being accessory after the fact to a murder or even a party to the crime before the fact, depending on what the evidence is. So now is the time to really put that pressure on and, and make something happen.